635. 625? We'll see what happens. Second week of the taper. It's not really a taper yet, but we're getting there. Welcome to the video, man. It's on the mic. Through speed.co. Our lights feel like they're gonna bleed, but running out. That's what I used to listen to, dude. Times we try, still I die. For contact in my own. Love my own. Here we go. We're gonna deadlift over 600 pounds of this. Kyle's loving it. Oh, he stopped. Loving it. The vibes are high, man. Christmas morning, Christmas Eve morning. So, lift some weights, warm them up. Then I'm gonna go find a couch and hang out with my dog. Chill, man. Someone just asked me, like, hey, you got hella family traditions and shit, and honest truth is nah. I, I think holidays, as you get older, you can start, I don't think people do this enough, but you can start to form it in a way, in a day that you need, right? So, like, if you're a lawyer and have no family or whatever, like, go on vacation, like, actual vacation. Go to Florida and start golfing. Like, you don't gotta do the Santa Claus shit, you know, if you're a 35-year-old lawyer. For me, it's just a time to unplug, so... I go to my mom's house. I might even just spend the weekend there, hang out with her and the dog and just chill. We'll do a nice dinner. Mom likes to cook, and so she, we'll do a nice dinner. But, like, yeah, I might watch Home Alone 2 or some shit, get the festive vibe or Harry Potter or some shit. But, like, if you only got kids, man, you can start to manipulate the world and your days and your life how you want. Don't do what society says you got to do. You ain't got to drink apple cider if you ain't like apple cider. You don't got to sing Christmas carols. You ain't want to sing Christmas carols, you know? If you got kids, yeah, you probably got to drink apple cider whether you like it or not. It's kind of on you. You shouldn't have had them little gremlins. your biggest hot take right now i'm a boneless wing enjoyer if you hate boneless wings you are not fucking american we accept everybody in this house what about the people that say now you're just eating chicken nuggies what about those people the chicken nuggets are dry as hell these wings wet moist, moist. like moist cock i'm a big fan big fan moist moist cock big fan <laughs> big fan some men train hard I train to make men hard. Get a little hot topic going. What's your opinion on steroids? Do you think it's like helping the lifting community? I do think, um, you know, steroids have obviously been part of fitness and athletic culture since they were invented or since they were popularized, you know, in the 50s and 60s and 70s. Um, I do think that, generally speaking, for the community, and the community is semi-split because we have the online fitness community and then we have the in-person fitness community. And yeah, they overlap, right? Like Russ Swole is a great mayor of the whole thing because he's a big figure on the online community, yet he runs meets and he's one of the best lifters on the planet. So he's kind of like a 50-50 split um, where some people are more involved online and maybe they train in their garage by themselves so they found their niche community online and others don't love social media and stuff but they uh, spot and load at meets and they run meets and they compete and they know people in person and that's why I love the sport it's because it's so niche down uh, that you can find like-minded people and really become friends with them you know like the basketball community is too big it's really hard to find like a community like that in person or online but in lifting we're still small enough you can steroids will and always will be part of the culture but the biggest thing for me on the online community and in person, but more so online, is I think people need to realize the impact they may or may not have and take their audience um, as a responsibility. Um, you know, they say like, pressure is like a privilege. I think having an audience is a privilege and a, and a large responsibility. And some people get a little reckless with it. Um, I think. I don't necessarily think it's malicious. I don't think people are doing it like, oh, I'm going to get all these 18-year-olds getting steroids and ruin their you know, self-esteem, their hairlines, and their testicles for the rest of their life. But what I do think is that many people get these audiences in line or in person, and they don't have any perspective or, or thinking in the future. A lot of people, and this may be some of y'all, and I'm guilty of it here and there, although I do think it's one of my things I'm better at, is people just look one step at a time. Where we have to realize the things we say, the things we do, what will happen, what's the trickle effect of everything we say and do. 
And am I perfect with that? No, like I'm sure I've said things irresponsibly, but I am very cognitive of what I'm saying and conscious of how I move and the decisions I make and how I portray myself to the world so that I'm a net positive. I want to be a positive in y'all's life, sharing my journey, sharing my knowledge. Um, and I think steroids have a place in some people's lives, but not as common or not as uh, bluntly as others say it. No, fuck you. I uh, I don't ever see myself like actually getting on steroids. Um, you know, this line of natty or what steroids or not is so skewed by how these motherfuckers' egos, like they're fragile ass egos, go on the internet and because they're blasting certain things and they're too embarrassed to be honest with themselves, because that's the true projection of what they're telling you, that then they lie to y'all, they lie to the audience. If I got on, it would be literal TRT, which is like 100 to 150 megs a test a week. I'm almost 35, y'all. So if that happens, yeah, and it's likely it may happen in my lifetime, right? If I want to feel better and just be, I'll actually use it for a hormone therapy replacement, which is what it's made for. Again, man, I'm, I'm closer to 70 years old than I am zero years old. You know, like, I might need some, um, but I don't ever see myself, like, trying trend or like D-Ball or like all this stuff that motherfuckers are running. There's just no reason for it. I'm not a professional. Two, I don't care. My ego isn't tied to my strength or my physique that much. Yeah, I want to look better. Yeah, our business does better when I'm looking better, like engagement. Like that's how social media works. But um, yeah, maybe a little low dose to test if the, like a real doctor prescribes, not some Hank ass fucking Zoom call doctor from your testosterone dealer. Your testosterone dealer's hiring doctors. Like it's just so fucked up. I'll go to a legitimate doctor, my doctor, and say, hey, man, what's this look like? Um, and I'd tell y'all. Yeah, I got no issue. Man, I'd tell y'all everything. I got no issues telling you. Any questions you ask me below, man, I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. Rate the RPE below. Let me know what you think. It's supposed to be like a six, seven. I'll probably give it a six and a half, seven. Felt a little heavy, but we're jamming. So holiday weekend, I'm going to go chill. Happy holiday to yous and yours. USB.co, we over me. Be a part of something big in yourself, man. We're always driven by community and culture. I appreciate you guys so, so much for 2022. 2023 is about to be crazy. We got a bunch of plans. Hopefully, I'll share along with you a little bit of travel, more content. Uh, new videos, man, every single Monday and Thursday. Some shorts coming up. Show those some love. Go in the past. Click back. Just give it a little like. It helps your boy out a lot. We'll catch you in the next one.